Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17 Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to continue on uh, right where we left off, pretty much. Uh, so uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. All right, so I came uh, just over here to the workbench. It's just been a couple minutes since I left you last, uh, in the last episode. And I want to try something. I want to see if I can actually attach the spikes uh, to the scrap, uh, to these scrap gloves. So let's hit the modify. No, it doesn't... It doesn't seem to work. Okay, hold on. Let's, um, if we go recipe, spike knuckles. Oh, okay, wait a second. We need forged steel. We need tin forged steel, which we don't have. Duct tape. I thought can only be installed in our, oh, okay, okay. So I've got to make the spikes first. And then once I make the spikes, then I install them on armored gloves. I see. Okay, so we can't do this right now because we need tin forged steel, uh, among other things. The rest of that stuff isn't a big deal, but tin forged steel is out of our reach at the moment unless we find some more, which uh, we might do. We do have some forged steel that we found, but we don't have tin. So, okay, so that takes care of that. The other thing I wanted to do though is I wanted to see if I could make uh, leather armor for us because I'm, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use this. Uh... Ah, shit, we gotta have a scale for it, don't we? Doggone it. Okay. So we probably have to have the light armor skill, whoops, which is here. Specialize in light armor to increase armor rate. Well, that doesn't say anything about needing it to make it, though. So, yeah, I, I wonder if it's um engineering. Compound bow, mining helmet, crafting, hunting rifle, da 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 da. Grease monkey is the bicycle thing. This is the forge thing. Uh, incidentally, we are level 15 and we're almost level 16, so we're getting close. We're getting close to being able to, um, you know, make a forge and, and make the iron tools more importantly because we already have a forge. Okay, well, looks like both of those things are a bust. Whoops. For now, anyway. Uh, but if we do happen to come across some more steel at some point. Oh, you know what? Something just occurred to me. It is down there. Okay, watch this. I'm going to show you guys something. Not everybody knows you can do this. Um, let's put that back on for the moment. I'll stick this in here. Uh, I was going to make some glue, too, with the murky water, but I don't think I need to now. So let me get all this stuff put back. That goes in there. Uh, we are going to work on the cheese tower too, uh, for sure. But uh, let's grab a little more food. What was I looking for? Oh, I want my wrench. Wrench, wrench, wrench. Okay. So, check this out. We can take apart that little transformer thingy there. Do hickey doodle. And we'll get some steel from it. I don't remember how much we'll get. Oh, I should replace these spikes too. Let's do that first. Boy, yeah, this heavy armor, man. Some serious slowdown. Definitely can can tell. Got to keep our um. Forge nice and protected here. Can we just repair this guy? No, not him. The spike. I want to repair the spike. Damn it. Yeah, it's just not uh, letting me get to it. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Alright, let's see. So, we should be able to get a little bit of steel off this thing if they didn't change it from what it was in Alpha 16. Take me a little while to break through it. We got about 11 points per hit here. We got, oh, we got a little forged iron and some mechanical parts too. That's good. Time to drink. All right, here we go. One piece of steel. Really? Oh, the game hates me. 
It just plain hates me. That's all there is to it. It just hates me. Okay. Well, that's all we got. So, whoop. That cabinet has been looted. Oh. Looted all that stuff a long time ago. Apparently not. Okay, let's get this all spiked back up, too. I don't have any wood in my inventory. Hmm. I must have um, left that upstairs. Then. So I know I have more wood. Um, in fact, we I cut down all of the trees in the tree farm on day 15. And it looks like they're starting to grow back now. Okie doke. Well, shoot. I was... Uh, I, rem I thought I remembered that you'd get more steel out of that than just one piece. But uh, I guess... Uh, Guess I was mistaken about that. Okay, let's put all that stuff in there. We'll put this stuff in here. We need to drink. Okay, so um, we're gonna go back to. I don't think I don't think this gives me any protection against uh as far as armor goes but you know what it does give some element element protection but anyway we're going to go back to grass clothing obviously you know it's going to make me a lot more squishy but i need to rely upon speed and just not getting hit uh to s stay alive i just really do at this point so unfortunately um we could sell that i don't know i've been using the chest armor for quite some time and the leg armor too so we need uh, the shoes back and the gloves so let's do the shoes and the gloves and we're going to stick this stuff in here for now and I'll have to decide later what I'm going to do with it but I just like said, I don't think. Oh. oh, I forgot I was wearing that thing. Does that that does that give armor though? It used to. I'll bet you it doesn't anymore. So you know that being the case, this is actually going to serve me better around here. I think. If we were in a colder area. Sometimes I do get cold, though. So, I don't know. I, I guess it's six one half does the other. We'll, we'll keep the poncho on for now. Okay, so we got our grass stuff back on. Uh, you know, not as sexy as the other stuff was, but... We're going to be able... We're going to be able to move a lot faster now. And that's going to be really important for staying alive. So I think that's the right move, even though it kind of sucks that we can't keep that armor on. But it does make sense, you know. Armor's heavy. Let's stick this stuff in here. We don't need to be carrying that around with us. Okay, let's get to work on this uh, tower that I want to show you guys. I'm going to put that back, and we're going to take the nail gun out with us. So the idea behind uh, this little cheese tower is that it gives us um, a little mini refuge, we'll say that uh, will basically help protect us against you know one l let's say one to three zombies we have you know up to three zombies on us this should prevent us from getting killed oh we're gonna go get that drop too uh, a whole horde probably not gonna work and so the idea is I want to set these up at regular intervals between me and the trader for now and then you know maybe we'll set them up in other areas as well but for now just between me and the trader so that I have, you know, I can go to those places or when I need to if we're getting chased. Now, we don't really need to set anything up here because we can just run to our base here. Uh, but the trader is to the southwest. So let's go ahead and I might actually use this area too. How in the world did I not leave that? Uh, I might use that area for an actual horde base that I'm planning on building. I wonder if... No, nothing should have reset. Because I have that set to the default 30 days. 
So basically, let's run to the towards the trader to the southwest, and maybe we'll put our, our first tower right here on this gravel, this gravel area. So let's see. We want to start with a cobblestone. And what we do here is we're going to put, um, we're going to make this four high. Yeah, we're going to make that four high. And then the top one is just going to be a wood block. Oh shit, we need wood. Let's go. I forgot to look for some wood. Let's go cut some wood real quick here. We'll just cut this tree down. Yeah, this axe really came in handy cutting down our our tree farm. And because it's blue, I cut down almost the entire farm. And we're only using that half of their ability, so of course I repaired it. Okay, so let's just board that up. And then what we do here is we put frames around here, like so. Okay. And then along the bottom here, we simply put uh, two rows, I'm going to put two rows of spikes. And then the last thing we just need is a, a a ramp to get up there. So we're gonna make this um, I think what I'm gonna do here is we'll make it a four a four block gap. Because uh, if you guys didn't already know this, the zombies can now jump uh, across a three block gap. But what we're also going to do is we're going to keep a couple of uh, frames there and then we just pull them up uh, behind us. Okay, and to make this a little bit easier to getting up there. We need um, looks like we need five ramps. There we go. Alright, now um, if you have the time and the wood and all that sort of thing, that's still a three block gap. You know what we probably better do? I thought that I had made that a four, but it's actually only a three. Um, let's not take any chances with that. Let's make it a four. We're going to make that a four block gap. There we go. And we could, you know, we could even keep it lower too, which is not a bad idea, because then it makes it even more difficult for them to get up there. What this will do for us then is we'll have this block here. Um, and then we, that's just a hot skip for us and then we turn around and pull these up real quick. Now if they're right on your butt, um, 
that might not work so well. Uh, but the idea is you want to be far enough ahead of them to where you have that extra moment or two to pull those up uh, behind you. Okay. And so let's let's go ahead and board these up now. And if you have the spikes, it's really not a bad idea to uh, to spike the um, you know the ramp along the sides too. See now the down the downside to using spikes though is that uh, you don't get XP for the kills. But this is kind of about staying alive more than it is about getting XP. And of course, while you're up there, you know, try and hit them with with the arrows, with your arrows, and see if you can get the kill before the spike does. But here again, it's it's really, like I said, it's really just about staying alive. So we'll cut this tree. And that's why, of course, we left those top frames um, as just frames, so we can shoot through them if we need to. Okay, so I'm going to... Um oh, the other thing you can do, too, is you can put spikes right here, so, you know, when they come up there and, and try and jump on you, then they'll jump down onto the spikes. So it's just, it's really a matter of, you know, how, much, how many spikes you actually have to, uh, to use. So you don't necessarily have to use this many if you don't want to. It's just kind of up to, you know, what resources you have at your disposal. All right, so the idea behind this now is we're going to, you know, we're being chased by a zombie while we're on our way to the trader or whatever. And so we run up here, hop up here, turn around, and quickly pick those up. And then I missed that one, but whatever. And then they're not going to be able to get up here. Of course, this doesn't. This wouldn't work for spiders, um, but if it's a spider, then this isn't going to work. I don't think it would anyway, unless you can get the spider on the spikes. But it's not, so now, what's going to happen is they're going to come and try up the ramp, try and get you. Uh, then they're going to fall down on those spikes there. Uh, if they happen to be coming around, you know, this side, then you can try and shoot them with the bow and get the kill in before the spikes do. All right. So this is Cheese Tower version two, and. Um, I do want to also give partial credit uh, for this idea to Think Tank Gaming. Uh, he's another YouTuber who does, uh, who plays this game on Insane Always Run. So if you guys want to check him out, uh, his name is Think Tank Gaming, and uh, he he doesn't do he doesn't do a tower exactly like this, but he, you know, I watched one of his videos, one of his first videos, as a matter of fact. Uh, and he kind of inspired me uh, to try to try this out. So this is kind of like you know my old cheese tower that I used to use in Alpha 16, but some of it, you know, he gave me the idea for it too. So I just want to give him some credit again. His name is Think Tank Gaming. It's all, it's three different words. He's a YouTuber, so check him out if you get a chance. Okay, let's test this sucker out and see how it's going to work on a on a real live zombie. So we'll just keep that there. Now, the one thing you have to be careful of, though, is if you're almost out of stamina and you get all the way to the top, you know, and you miss that jump, that's kind of why I have those, the little bridge there. So it's, you know, it's a trade-off. The bridge means I'm going to make, uh, I'm not going to accidentally fall on the spikes myself, but, but then I have, you know, I have to make sure and get them pulled up before the zombies can, uh, can uh, get to me. And, you know, the trick to that, of course, is make sure they're not right on your butt. Okay, let's try this. Let's see if we can find a victim here. And we'll also, we might as well work our way over towards the drop while we're at it. We do have room, right? Uh, I should have left those back at the base. That we don't need, so let's scrap that. Uh, yeah, I guess we can keep those there. I wonder if the game will the game actually let us get all the way to the drop without getting harassed. If it did, I'd be suspicious. Let's see if we can get some honey out of this stump. Nope. 
No honey. There's another one. Okay, there's a Z right there. He's coming this way. No honey onto that one either. Oh man, I hope that drop didn't fall inside the junkyard. Okay, since we're kind of halfway here, let's let's actually go for the drop first, and then we'll. Whoa, that's not supposed to be like that. Floating building. Let's go for the drop first, and then we'll come back. Um. And test out the cha the tower since we're part way there now. run down the road here this is like junkyard alley man those places tend to spawn dogs so I'm not eager to whoa shit to go in there you just came right out of the corn you're a child of the corn Wow, she's really zigging and zagging there. Get one club hit off on her. Okay, good. We got our next skill points. We are level 16. We have four levels to go until we can make a, f a forge and make mining tools. Let's just kind of go easy along here. Get our stamina cap back up a little bit. Lots of corn. We definitely know uh, where to come and get that when the time comes. So I'm a little bit... Uh, a little bit nervous being in this area because I can't see around me very well. Good, got a sneak shot off on Nurse Nancy there. Trying to uh, trying to get used to melee more. Got to get used to it. There's some potato plants too. This is like a very agricultural place. A waterworks, lots of farms. Very interesting. It's like I said though, when the time comes to start doing garden stuff, we'll be able to get potato seeds and corn seeds for sure. It doesn't seem like that drop's getting any closer. There's a box we could loot. No, that's just a hay bale. That's construction dude. Edgar over there. Don't really want to mess with him. Man, this is a lot further out than I thought it was. Hopefully it's going to have something good for us. There's a blueberry patch. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we'll be we'll be sitting pretty once we can get the farm going. Oh, crap. We're getting into wasteland, aren't we? Oh, man. I don't want to be in wasteland. 
This place is dangerous. AF. Okay, good. There's a drop right there. Uh, well, all right. I mean, it doesn't suck. It definitely doesn't suck, but... I would have preferred other things. That's okay. It's all good. Got some burners over there. The burners actually aren't a bad zombie to farm because they're relative compared to most of the other ones. They're pretty squishy. The problem with them, of course, though, is that they can't get you on fire. All right, well, let's just check some of these places along uh, the way. Ooh, that was a good find. That was actually a very nice find for our sniper rifle, which I don't carry around. I probably should start carrying around. I just, bag space is so limited. All right, well, let's just cruise back on through here. And when we get close to our cheese tower, at that point, then we'll see if we can get a zombie. Okay, here's an easy kill. Yes. 700 XP. I'm still a little bit put out at uh, at the game or at fun pimps or whatever and maybe it was a bug too that I unloaded like 70 arrows into a biohazard guy and when I finally killed him I got 700 XP <laughs> it's like what the hell that was such bullshit interesting coming through here I do like, you know, one of the things I like about Alpha 17 when it comes to, like, the world generation is the fact that, you know, stuff is a lot more, it's, it's more close together, um, and it, it doesn't feel quite as cookie cutter as, as 16 and, and earlier did. Uh, like, there's more character, I guess, to the world is what I'm trying to say, which is pretty cool. Now, supposedly... You can uh, break one of these blocks and the whole thing comes tumbling down. Let's just see what happens if we do that. I'll watch. I'll make a, a bunch of noise. Oh, nope. It didn't. Never mind. I was going to say I'll make a bunch of noise and like uh, alert all the zombies in a 10 mile radius. Okay, so we got an Edgar over there. There was also the... Um, crackhead zombie that we saw over here earlier too. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, there's a burner. Okay. Maybe we can get the burner's attention. Let's go over this direction. turn around it goes up and he just jumps right down on the spikes and then we got the kill for him too nice okay that's how it works and there's the time Shut up. 
Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we will. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to I'm going to set up these stations. Uh, like I said, between myself uh, or my base here and the trader, as like just little waypoints, uh, so that you know when we do go to the trader, that's a little safer for us to do so. Excuse me. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Come and hang out with us on Discord if you want to. And um, come and uh, hang out with me on live stream if you want to. I do live stream on Twitch several times a week. You can find the links to both of those places in the About section of the YouTube channel. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.